everyone, this is Rebecca from Peg Up Mlog. And if you're following, then we are completing the video series. I'm creating a video series for the low code builder mission exercise on Pega. We're on uh, exercise number seven, approval email. Um, it, this one is has the description that it wants for a customer to be able to receive a notification when his requested transfer is approved so that they can manage payments to the specified accounts and keep those accounts in good standing. Our job is to configure the case type to create the owner participant automatically when the case begins. We are offered a pro tip here. It says to enable the option to create participants automatically when the case starts. In the case link, click participants, settings, participants, and then click the participant to display the participant configuration window. Uh, when requested transfers approved, send an email to the case owner with the subject line, balance transfer approved. Okay, and then it gives us a message. Now, have you noticed we got these little brackets? Um, well, that's basically telling you that that's where you're gonna embed properties that are already in the case. So we'll go through all of that together. An additional note, note says items in square brackets are the property references. Oh, that's what I just said. <laughs> um, so these are gonna be in, where we insert properties. Okay, so according to our instructions, we should go to the settings in our workflow. So click on settings, uh, participants, here we go. We are gonna modify the owner participant. And we wanna select this little checkbox, create participant automatically when the case starts. Go ahead and do that. Uh, we're gonna go back to the workflow and we're gonna go to the fulfillment stage in the send confirmation uh, step. So here we're gonna email a participant. Which participant? The owner. And what is the subject of our email? We're gonna go ahead and copy that from our PEGA instructions. The email should, subject should be balance transfer approved. And we're gonna compose the message. So what I like to do is I like to just copy and paste everything, bring it over. And then I can uh, embed the properties. So I'll copy and paste. It says first name, I'm gonna delete that and insert the actual first name that's being used in the case. Let's see. Here we go, first name. There we go. Uh, you wanna leave a space, otherwise it's gonna look a little awkward. The grammar is not gonna be correct because the first name and the last name will be together. We want that separate. Like if you're writing an actual email. So again, you go to account. Now we put the last name. And there we go. Uh, we have approved your balance transfer request. The balance transfer amount is the total cost of transfer. So total cost of transfer. Let's see where we can find that. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Total cost to transfer. Um, selected offer, let's go to the offers. That's the one that we did the data page for and we put all those different um, offers for the user. Was that copy and paste those big paragraph things. Uh, let's see. Transfer offers was our data object. And then I use the title. Transfer offers dot title. Okay, so we're getting the property title from the data object transfer offers. Here we need to go through and add the interest rate. So let's do that. Interest rate, uh, length of the offer. Okay. 
Okay, now we've added length of offer. Now we need to do include the APR after promotional period. So let's look for that property. APR after promotional period. Okay, we've got that. Please review your account terms and conditions for important information about how we apply payments if you maintain a balance due to other card activities. Okay, and we're done. And let's go ahead and save and run so we can see this working. We've got to go through the whole case. We've got to get it approved so the email would generate. So we continue, select an offer. Let's do it. And let's just bring all the friends over, right? That's one more. Okay, so we've got our total amounts here and we create. Now this is gonna be routed to the customer service representative, which is we, something we created before. So we're gonna continue. This is all of our details. Okay, so we refresh in order to see the email that was generated. Oh, on the pop-ups. And here we go. Dear Jane Doe, you were approved. The balance transfer amount was 5553.60, zero interest transfer. Uh, the interest rate during the promotional period is zero, but after it expires at 16% for six billing cycles. And that's it, we're done with this one. Join me for the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, leave any comments. If you have any questions, I'll try and answer. Thanks. Mm -hmm.